Hola. Hola, no. Hi, I'm Gianna. Today's video is so exciting, all about summer vacation and how to make summer vacation on your nails. And the reason why this video is so special to me, this is a collaboration with a very talented YouTuber and her name is Alexandra. Alexandra has a lifestyle and beauty channel with a focus on creating a beautiful life from the inside all the way out. She has motivational videos that'll help you with personal growth to beauty and skincare hack, makeup tutorials, and my favorite, nail art. Which leads me to today's video. So we're both coming up with three designs each that are vacation themed. The first design is going to be a sunset themed or a sunrise theme. The second design is going to be a beach theme. And the third manicure is a wild card. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you her design, but without further ado, let's get on to the first manicure. Manicure number one, Sunset Manny. Start every manicure by protecting your natural nails. I recently purchased this Simply Peeled Latex Barrier that will make cleanup on a gradient design simple. If you're a beginner to nail art, I highly recommend you getting a latex barrier. I live in Florida, and if you follow me on Snapchat, you know I'm obsessed with sunsets. That's where I came up with the colors for this design. If you'd like to see a video on how to create gradient designs three different ways, let me know in the comments down below. And to finish off this sunset design, of course I had to paint a palm tree. Start by creating a curved Y on your nail, add some ground for your palm tree to stand on, and start by adding a little polish at a time and slowly adding some palm fronds. The best technique is to add short palms at the tip and create larger and longer palm fronds as you move towards the base of your nail. Here's the finished design on a beginner scale, one being easy, 10 taking lots of practice, I would give this manicure a number seven. The gradient design and the hand-painted palm tree definitely takes some practice to get perfect. Let's move on to manicure number two. Manicure number two, beach nails. Start off by taking a nail striping tool and create a French tip on each nail. I only see starfish when I'm out on the boat, so I felt I had to do a starfish or two on my accent finger. Let's start by drawing a starfish so we can easily transfer the concept onto our nail. Place a dot as a guide, draw two lines that create a V. Next, create a straight line down to create a Y shape. Now give the starfish its arms, and now you have the shape. All you have to do now is fill in the triangles on each line. Great, let's move on to creating our starfish on our nails. Pretty easy, huh? I thought this design would look cute with two starfish. Now I'm going to add some white dots on each fish and to add some dimension by adding some purple dots. Here's what the finished manicure looks like when it's all done. On the nail art scale, I would give this a number five because if you understand the concept of the starfish, this design can be so easy to create. If you're inspired to recreate this design, let me know in the comments down below what colors you would use. Because my summer vacation normally has to do with boating or being by the sea, I had to make a nautical design for my wild card. This manicure starts by taking a nautical blue polish and a nail striper and creating two or three horizontal lines per nail. Once this dries, you're going to create an anchor on the accent nail with a gold polish and a detail brush. Start your anchor by creating a small line at an angle. At the top of the line, place a small cross. 
At the bottom of the line, you're going to create a half circle or what I like to call a smile line. Add two triangles to the ends of each side of your smile line and add a large dot on the top of your anchor. Here's what the finished manicure looks like when it's done. I would say this manicure rates as a number five on the easy nail art scale. You do have to practice keeping the horizontal line straight and that does require some practice. So, which manicure was your favorite? Manicure number one, two, or three? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you decide to recreate any of the nail art featured in this channel, make sure to use the hashtag Lance and G and share it with me on either Twitter or on Instagram. As promised, here is Alexandria's uh, beach manicure. And click on this and you'll go right to her video and you can check it out. I 100% recommend going over to her channel and checking out a few of her videos and subscribing if you love them. And because I have the nail art contest happening last week, I'm going to put in the description who won the nail art contest and make sure that if you are the winner or you know the winner, make sure to let them know. And I will see you guys in the next video.